What is going on guys? Grave here. Today we're going to have another housing tour. The very first house we're going to look at, of course, is going to be the exercised coven cottage here in Glen Umbra. This is a very kind of small, quaint place that's very homey feeling that you can either design to be kind of a comforting style of cozy house or kind of a creepy, spooky Halloween style house. And today's house is going to be Doll's House, who is the guild owner of Library of Dusk. Uh, of course, one of the guilds that I'm in, so I appreciate them letting me come by and check out the house. Of course, right when you walk in, you see the jack lanterns. You kind of get that Halloween feel, but at the same time, I like the look of the you know the, the bright trees and, and you know just the things kind of you know placed here on the walls to make it look a little more comforting. You know, this is kind of a dark, gloomy area as you can see the sky is gray, that kind of thing. But the feel of this when you walk in is very kind of a warm, cozy feeling. Uh, the first thing we're gonna look at, of course, is gonna be right over here on the right, which is kind of a a storage area slash uh, you know. I guess you can interpret it as a um, kind of trade area as well. Something like either being delivered or the, either picking items up. Kind of have some of the things here like the deer hanging, uh, of course, the fish, things like that. So it looks like it's kind of a trade place, you know, different kinds of crates and barrels. Very well put together. Uh, a lot of people like to do these kind of things where they kind of an area where it's like, a, you know, the, the kind of environment's kind of like a work zone was, was the idea I think a lot of people want to put out there. And that's an, a neat thing to me to put into your home. So... Uh, the next thing we're going to look at, of course, kind of around the corner here, walk down the trail. You kind of get more of a, a spooky kind of vibe when you go down here. Yes, there's some bright, you know, pretty unique kind of, you know, plants and flowers. But at the same time, we have the grave, gravestones kind of here in the grown-up grass. Uh, we have, you know, some more uh, jack-o'-lanterns and things. And you can kind of tell from a distance once you get down here, it's going to get a little bit more creepy. You know, kind of that Halloween feel. And as you can see when we get in here, it definitely does that. Uh, th this is put together very well here for that creepy kind of feel you know just all of it looks even with the graveyard kind of over here to the left the cobwebs just everything put together very well the way the blues and the reds kind of go together it looks just kind of dark and ominous which is a good thing for a, a themed kind of halloween house um, of course lots of little you know different furnishing items placed here whether it be the skulls or you know the different jars with you know whatever you would like to put in them some people use eyeballs brains you know uh that kind of thing but just a very uh well put together kind of creepy area but at the same time uh to me in the game when you use these kind of red looking light things that glow you know kind of that red look and the blue look the red looks more kind of ominous the blue looks a little bit more peaceful and cozy so the two kind of different colors here blending look uh very interesting work very well together in my opinion like i said we have, kind of have the graveyard over here to the left uh we have the arm creeping out which is definitely spooky <laughs> that is always a very uh neat thing to have in your graveyard but uh you know have different arms just coming out in different places you don't want to walk there you'll get grabbed uh, <laughs> kind of grabbed up may not get to go back uh go back out but that you know it's a very cool touch to the graveyard we're gonna step in the house here which of course you know, it's a little bitty small cottage so there's a lot of things you can do with the home outside of the area but like I said in the past video, don't let the home's size fool you. Um, you can have really large homes in the uh, Elder Scrolls Online. And in my opinion, the really large homes I have, I, I enjoy decorating them. I like the looks of them. But a lot of times they feel kind of empty. It feels like there's dead space. To me, some of these smaller areas where you have a lot of uh, you know outside area you can decorate, a smaller house inside you can decorate, or a medium-sized home, you can really pile things in those areas and make it look like, you know, a, a very unique place, whether it's something you're going for that's like a, a cozy style home or a a comforting, homey kind of, you know, feel. Uh, if you want to make it a high elf design, if you want to make it, a, you know, a Breton design, an Aragonian, anything that's available in the game, any kind of furniture plans, you know, if you want more of that really almost fancy kind of unique stuff from like Eleanor. And there's all different ways that you can do uh, and do things to de to design these homes. And I, I think like these smaller areas are, are really unique to me because you can just, like I said, you can put so many things here that's very eye-catching when you walk in. Of course, we kind of have some of these uh, these solitude uh, cupboards here when you walk in, which look very well, that kind of rustic look with this rock walls, of course, uh, of the cottage itself. Have some bread here, I guess. Uh, whoever's hanging around is cooking something, you know, in the witch's cauldron, maybe eating a little bit of bread. Who, who knows what might be in this pot uh, <laughs> that green look doesn't look too uh, appetizing but of course you know we have different things here on the wall once again in the jars the eyeballs the hands the you know the brains that kind of thing some skulls uh, some bags and, and just some small pots and, and things of course the one that i always call looks like a voodoo doll to me but 
very well put together, just a little area right here. This is the first thing when you walk in, this catches your eye because of all the different sizes of, of, of things on the, of the shelves, but also the different varieties. Uh, you come over here once again, another little area that has different style statues, different style, just little furnishing items you can craft. Uh, just a very uh, neat place. Like I said, for smaller areas, you can do some very neat things by just placing a lot of different things on your shelves or on your cabinets or whatever the case may be. If you think about your own home, uh, the house that you live in, uh, most people have an area in their home. I do at my house, of course, you know, where I place my keys down my wallet, you know, phone, whatever the case may be when I come in or come home every day. A lot of people have, uh, you know, an area of their home where they make hang coats on you know, a, a coat rack or chairs or around your house. There's always lots of things, you know, whether it be your, your, your family photos or, you know, even when you're in someone's home, they may have different style of paintings on the wall. So the way I look at it when I try to do uh, housing myself is I try to think of, you know, what would my house look like? Would I have a mirror hanging here? Would I have a, you know, just a, some type of jewelry box sitting on the table? It's just very well put together in these little small areas. And I think Doll did a really, really good job. Of course, we had a little small bed here, which fits very well in the house. It looks very rustic, which fits, once again, the kind of cottage theme. Of course, we have the banker and the merchant here hanging out by this stew, which looks a little more appetizing than that one. <laughs> but I uh, really like the idea of having the uh, chimney here as well. Um, this is a very cool looking place. Like I said, at times it looks creepy and dark and, you know, like that Halloween kind of style. But at other times it is bright and colorful and very like a cozy kind of home. And we have the pig out back just kind of hanging around uh, with some bats, of course, the, these or the crows, excuse me, I said bats, <laughs> and the pumpkins out back here as well. Just a very nice looking place. I really, really love what has been done here. I, I think it's, like I said, there's millions of possibilities you can do with any home in the game. And I think the combination of that cozy kind of rustic feel with the Halloween uh, theme worked very, very well. So I appreciate Doll once again for letting me come by and check it out. Let's go on to the next house, and I'll see you guys over there. The second part of our house tour today is going to be Rob's home. Rob is a member of my guild here on PS4, uh, Royal Chaos. And Rob decided to kind of go with an outside build theme, uh, which is a unique build. I think, like I said in the past video, people can do whatever they want when it comes to housing. And everything is just unique, depending on how you decide to do your own, you know, different homes. And I think Rob's idea of kind of building this outside theme it was really, really neat. So as you walk in, you can kind of tell this very eye-catching kind of to begin with. There's a lot of different artifacts and things that have been dug up through the antiquity system. Uh, maybe some things that have been, you know, built on, you know, from different blueprints. Things that you can buy within, you know, different areas uh, of, of, of achievement vendors, that kind of thing. Rob has put a lot of different things in this home and it's very well placed and it's very neat looking in my opinion. Kind of have a, a cozy area over here to sit by the fire. But this is just a very unique kind of idea to, you know, instead of decorating the inside of your home, let's, let's decorate the outside of the home, which is really, really neat. Kind of walk over. We have, some, of course, some stone walls uh, that are, you know, kind of placed here. And, of course, we are in the Alpine Gallery here in Western Skyrim, if you guys do not know where this home is located. But um, the whole idea of decorating outside is something that I've wanted to do with some of my homes, just having a whole outside build instead of really decorating inside the house. Once again, some different things placed around almost like a, uh, area for adventurers to come hang out, check out the maps to see where they're going on their next adventure. Uh, maybe, you know, your, your, your house guest here taking inventory of all the food to make sure all the adventurers aren't coming by and <laughs> eating everything up. Uh, you can go either upstairs or downstairs. We're going to go underneath first. Just kind of a little small area here that has some different, you know, statues and things like that. The table, of course, is one of the antiquities you can dig up. Uh, very well put together here. Uh, kind of go over to this area, which has a lot of the kind of glow uh, plants in it which i think this right here is very cool design this kind of gazebo style idea of you know putting those glow plants around uh have some of the you know jubilee cakes in here uh, from past years events uh almost like the alligator coming through up out of the water uh just a very neat little place i thought this was one of the places that was uh, caught my eye when i first walked in here when rob told me that you know i could come by and tour the house uh kind of continuing on here some other little uh, you know, uh, pets and things around. I like the idea of the way he placed different kind of, you know, skeletal dragons and things uh, throughout. You kind of see one hanging down here, another one in the water here. Just a very cool look kind of in this. Almost made this almost a, a magical kind of swampy feel to this water area over here with all these different things. I kind of like that. Um, 
that that idea. That was a really cool idea. Of course, no home is complete without a large treasure trove of gold and chests and things. All homes have these in them. Most people like to do this. Some theme of you know having your gold and your treasure around. Uh, very well placed out here with the urns and things, kind of like they have been dug up, maybe in an archaeological site, or maybe they're uh, maybe Rob's still digging up some gold and things out here. Uh, of course, we can come over to this area, which is very well put together as well, because I, I like the, uh, the the hourglass here, you know, kind of this mystic, uh, magical look, along with this walkway that he's made with some different stones in game. Uh, we have the fountain, just uh, very well put together, just with all the different things that are available in game. It's just very well placed and, and kind of made throughout the home to almost be like a like i said to me it's just a a, a floating kind of a building here you know your own kind of style on a home that's you know not really a a structure that come that's come with a place that's really something you've done on your own kind of have the jester's tent over here on the side with caldwell's portal portal underneath it um we'll go up top here kind of look around at the top of the house go through the door number one <laughs> Also, a very neat idea right here when you get up the stairs, as you can see. You can use tapestries or rugs for, you know, archways for doorways. And you kind of can just walk through. You don't have to worry about opening up, uh, opening a door or anything like that. And as you can see, with all the statues and the trees kind of going through the walkways, it's just a very cool design. It reminds you of kind of a, a floating area or a treehouse kind of idea. This is just a very, really unique build. Um, kind of come over to this area to my, once again, favorite door in the game. Open this up. Make sure I turn this back on. Uh, kind of leave it like I left it. I think I left one door open down at the bottom. I'll have to I'll go back and close. But using these paintings and tapestries just kind of out here uh, around these edges of these walkways almost gives you feel uh, the feeling of some walls maybe, but also uh, just kind of some different scenery to look at as well. So it worked very good. Of course, we have this one, uh, maybe this is going to be Rob's throne here where he hangs out and watches over all his, uh, all of his gold he has down below. <laughs> of course, we have the different... Uh, you know, guards kind of hanging around the area. Some of the different uh, target dummies you can get in game. We have the Wraith of Crows over here as well. You can kind of see another dragon's head with the fire breathing out of his mouth, kind of just peeping up over the top here. Uh, kind of go over to this area. Once again, I really like the trees kind of just coming through this. I, I think, you know, the, the tree idea, I like a lot of the different trees in game and the idea of having these trees is kind of meshed in with the different statues and the dragons and things was really, really unique. We have three chairs. We kind of sit here and hang out, uh, kind of just look over everything, which is a very cool view. As you can see, uh, we have some more dragons kind of hanging out over here around the waterfall. Uh, just a, a very unique idea, a very cool build, in my opinion. Of course, we have the the, bane of uh, the basin of loss here, uh, the, one of the vampiric uh, pieces of furniture you could get from the crown store, kind of placed out here on its own little pedestal on the end. And the one thing that I know Rob was uh, working on as of late that is uh, a very cool idea as well, kind of around the back here. And I'll try to see if I can jump off here and maybe not fall off. Uh, this is going to be his, uh, I'm going to call this Rob. Rob is calling this his hot tub area, which I thought was, was pretty cool. Um, kind of back here on the waterfall. We have the hot tub area. Of course, we have the grill out here. We have the bar uh, set up for the hot tub area. With the waterfall kind of coming down here, it looks really neat. Almost, you know, kind of like that smoke and, and steam coming off the water. Uh, this was a, a very awesome build. I thought Rob did a very cool or a very unique thing here by just, you know, making something a little bit different than, like I said, in decorating inside your home. You know, you can decorate the outside of your home. You can build your own structures and, you know, build you a, a floating kind of home out here that's almost treehouse magical kind of theme to it. So uh, when it comes to housing, there's a lot of different ways you can do things and not everyone does it the same way. And that's what I really like about housing here in the Elder Scrolls Online. So I appreciate Dahl and Rob both letting me come by their homes today for this video. And once again, if you guys would like to see one of your homes featured in a video, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.